Hi, this is Mashnu, and here is today's 45 minutes game. Um, I played it this uh, afternoon, and I was playing uh, Durdana. It's a player uh, from Uzbekistan, and it was a bit of a crazy game actually. He played e4, and I answered knight f6, and then d5, knight d5, c4, attacking the knight, the knight goes to b6 d4, d6, knight f3, this is all theory, theory. Uh, knight to c6, e takes d, and now black can retake in two ways, c takes d6, and e takes d6, e takes d6 is more popular, but both moves are playable, I, I'd like to retake like this to have the pawn structure unbalanced, so then there is more uh, excitement in the position. Bishop to e2, g6, castle king side, bishop g7. The m main plan of the, the many variations of the uh, Alech in defense is to attack the d4 pawn. So that's the purpose of, uh, of black. Knight to c3, bishop g4. So already with the idea of taking on a 3 and after white retakes, the pawn on c4 is undefended. And also the pawn on, on d4. Um, could have lack of defense. My opponent answered bishop to e3, defending d4, so I played castle kingside, and now he plays b3, defending c4, so there is no more threat of taking on, on f3. By the way, uh, let me return one move. Here, oh, I'm sorry, here I did consider taking on f3, but the problem that I saw was that if I then take on c4, he uh, can take on c6, and if I retake, then he has queen to a4, and he regains the pawn. Or I would be prepared to take here, and then to allow him to take here, and lose my right to castle. Mm, I don't think this is good. Um, for a pawn having such passive pieces, I don't, I don't think this can be good. Knight d5 can come in. The rooks can be activated of white, so I didn't trust this. So that's why I didn't go into this, and I cancel kingside. He played b3, as I said, and now I played e6. <coughs> My idea is to continue with d5, to. Um, block this, this pawn on d4, so it stays on d4 and it can be later be attacked. He played rook to c1, I played d5, he played c5 attacking my knight, and now my knight goes to c8. Looks a bit strange, but the idea is to go to e7, f5, to have a new attacker against d4. So then we have three pieces attacking d4, three pieces are defending d4, so I only then need to trade this bishop for this knight to be able to take on d4. And this is more or less what happened. He played a3. Now I played knight to e7. Now he plays h3. And here I took on f3. He took back and I played knight f5. Now there is no way to defend d4. Well, he could play knight e2 and that, that's what he did in the game. But then a new attacker appears. Queen to f6. At the, the pawn on d4 is white's weakest point and uh, it's attacked four times now defended only three and there is no way to defend it a fourth time so that pawn is going to fall um, he played not queen to d2 and I took on d4 he took again I took he took I took he took and I took again and we had an end game already I, I've won a pawn, but, 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 um, we have bishops of opposite color. So, my concern was that if the rooks are traded, then we have a big drawing chances, and I didn't want to play a draw. So, well, let me show you how it continued. Rook c2 is preparing to double up the rooks on the c-file and advance a c-pawn. Rook f to c8, now he plays b4. And here I continue with a5. 
you place the other rook on the C file, I took him before, he takes back, and here I thought it I, I didn't find any way to um attack this weakness on B4 in a good way. Um if I play rook a four then he advances this pawn and he gets a bit closer to the advance of c6 so I didn't want to do this if I attack this pawn by the way by rook to, uh, to b4 he can defend it with bishop to e2 so I, I, I don't come any further here so because of this I thought what can I do? I can bring my king closer king of 8 he played g3 and here I played king e7 by the way um, reviewing the game I see that I had now after g3 because g3 weakens f3 I had a, a way of activating this rook winning a, uh, a tempo so attacking this uh, this bishop and not only that there is a tactical idea behind it I just missed this um, the tactical idea is that if the bishop moves for example bishop e2 now the pawn on f2 is spinned so I can play rook takes g3 check and then I would have two pawns more than than white and this is then very easily won actually yeah he cannot actually prevent that this pawn is going to fall I mean he, he can try by defending like this but then he places his king in a very bad position uh, I can then continue simply going here again with my rook attacking the the b pawn and the, the b pawn is going to fall so this this would have been actually the way to win this game but I didn't I, I actually played too fast I must honestly say after he played g3 I simply had in my mind my plan is to go closer with my king towards the white pawns so I played king to uh, e7 king g2 then he played so now the old trick of rook a3 is out of the question you see this is how important it is actually how important it is to uh, not to play in an automatic way and because that's what happened to me here I, I played automatically king to e7 um, without asking me the question if after this pawn move what changes to the position um, so well let's let's continue the game this is something to uh, to be conscious of never to play in an automatic way king e7 king g2 king d7 bishop e2 okay so now um, that bishop goes to, he wants to go to b5 to give a check there still I, I thought I don't want to, to draw this game I want to win it so I decided to take some risks and I played e5 I thought perhaps I can advance this pawn and, and create some threats there and force him to, to to stop those pawns so then these pawns perhaps can become a, a weakness he played f4 and what to do next I thought for quite a long time and I decided to do something crazy to um, give him the chance to win the exchange and see if I can enter with my king in his position. I played f6. He saw that he could take here and I take back with a pawn. So he has this check here. So he's winning the exchange but now I have two connected pass pawns and my king is closer to the center than his king. I played king to c6 and he took on c8. I took back with a rook he played rook to b1 I played king to b5 now my king is controlling these two pawns he went rook a2 now and I went rook to f8 blocking his king from from coming closer so this this f file is like a wall 
now the game continued with g4 and I played bishop c3 making the way open for my pawns to advance and threatening to grab that pawn there well what happened was rook a7 rook f7 defending the pawn h4 and here 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 I did the worst thing in this game and that is that I played bishop takes b4 and I fell into this trap this this ah this is I hate this kind of thing things when when they happen after I had done it I saw he can play c6 oh my god he wins with this I cannot take because my rook hangs I cannot take with the king because my bishop hangs and if I don't do anything then he will take the, my pawn on b7 and that pawn is unstoppable what I should have done was advance my e-pawn e4 this king is controlling these two light squares the rook is defending b7 the r this rook is actually controlling the whole f file so um, black is, is, is has a wonderful position here these pawns are getting dangerous and, and I just um, gave it away um, if he gives a check here I can go to c4 coming even closer and how is he going to stop my pawns I have actually these two strong pieces my king and my bishop to support the advance of my pawns and my rook is taking care of this king this is a very good position for black very promising but well as I said I fell into this trap and then king takes his six I played he took here I thought okay let me try something perhaps perhaps he, he makes a mistake and, and I can try to to continue threatening with these pawns but he didn't he didn't uh, make any mistake he threatens not to take b7 I defend it and then he goes here he wants to try the rook I prevent it and then he gives a check I go here he goes there and now b7 is going to fall I advance my d-pawn he took I don't still don't want to trade the, the rooks he gave a check I went here and now he went here I went there he goes to b1 I played e4 these two connected pass pawns they, they they look beautiful but they are actually harmless because um, his king can go now closer he plays king f2 and, and actually it's over I, I did continue a few more moves to see if uh, if something could be done but here I resigned um, well actually a few important lessons here I mean first of all it's 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 not nice to lose like this <laughs> it's it's just uh, 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 it's frustrating let's let's be honest it's frustrating when you have a beautiful position you give it away like that um, I am glad about my decision of giving the, um, the exchange because that gave me practical chances hmm. um, what is um, w what I regret are two things one what I mentioned in this position when he played g3 not having stopped and thought for a few minutes but played automatically this king e7 because rook a6 a3 would have been an easy win and the other important moment well this is fine I mean even if, if if I put this position in a computer what I did uh, it tells that white is much better but in a, in a practical game in an actual game human against human uh, it doesn't matter because then what counts are the practical chances and the practical chances is that in this position it's difficult for white to to play this position because it's black who has the threats of this 
connected pass pawns supported by this um, this king and, and bishop um, well and then this is actually something that shouldn't happen this is something that I should see that is threatening if I can I, can, I cannot take on before because then c6 comes um, yeah what can I say stop think before you move that's the advice that I give to myself and to you <laughs> all right well that's uh, that's today's game I hope that you found it interesting to this uh, to, to watch this uh, this review and uh, I'll see you next time on YouTube goodbye